hello everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing absolutely well so guys in today's video we are going to see use effect hook in react js so till the last video we have seen what are lifecycle components in react and from last video we have started learning hooks so uh, basically if you have remembered we have in the la previous videos we have seen a lifecycle component called as component did mount so the functionality that we were achieving through that lifecycle method in class based components if we have to achieve the same functionality in functional component we have to use this hook called as use effect hook so let us first of all see what are we going to cover in this video and then we will see one by one so the first thing that we are going to say is what is use effect hook in react js then we will be seeing the basic syntax of use effect name and then we will see the practical example by coding use effect hook in our uh, code editor and finally we are going to take an interview question based on this topic so let's start first of all what is use effect hook so in react use effect hook is a powerful tool that allows you to perform side effects in your functional components these side effects could be anything from fetching data subscribing to events or even manually changing the dom it is crucial for managing the life cycle of your components now let us look at the basic syntax of use effect hook so basically it takes two parameters first one is the function that contains your side effect and second one is the dependency array the dependency array is optional but it plays a crucial role in controlling when the effect runs so basically we have to write the uh, use effect hook in such a way like use effect and then brackets and inside this bracket there will be two parameters like first one is your uh, code whatever you want to run when this use effect gets called and second one is your dependency array so now when we will see this uh, use effect hook in practical you will get to know more what are the different use cases and what are the different conditions that we can apply on this use effect hook so let us now go to our code editor so as always i have removed everything okay we will start from scratch so basically i am creating a uh, functional component so for that i have used the rafce uh, snippet so we have got our functional component now what i'll do is i'll remove the basic code from here and i'll just create a react fragment and write some basic line of code which is like use effect so that we can see our uh, app is up and running so now we will go to our content so you can see here i can see the use effect okay now what we will do first of all uh, we will see how can we import use effect okay so in the last video also i have shown you if you want to you make use of any hook you have to uh, like import it first so you have to write use effect and then you can see use effect is now imported okay now you can make use of it so now we will uh, we have just now seen the syntax right so how to use that so use effect and then there are brackets and in this brackets there are two things that we have to write the second thing is optional that is the dependency first thing is uh, mandatory so let us first of all write a function okay so this is a callback function which i am writing so here what we will do is uh, we will just for now we will just write a basic code that is console dot uh, one okay so just to see that our code is running so use effect called i'm just writing this okay so what i've done is i've just created a use effect and in that i have just written a basic code okay now what we will do is we will see whether this is getting printed on our screen or not so i'll just open my uh, console here okay so you can see use effect is getting called so if i'll refresh so again use effect is getting called so this means that the first time use effects get called is when your com component uh, renders okay okay so now we have seen that uh, our react uh, like our re use effect hook gets called once our component loads initially now we see the other cases also when uh, when else does this use effect hooks get called so for that what we will do is we we know that it gets called when uh, when a state is loaded okay so what we will do is we will make use of a use state hook and we will uh, update the value of the state so we, and then we will see whether the use effect hook is getting called or not so for that what i'm doing is i'm importing my use state hook okay and then i'll create a const okay so const so basically we will just implement a basic uh, use state like counter functionality so with that we will try to make use of use state so set count and this thing we have done multiple times in previous videos so this is very easy for us so initially we will set the value as zero okay and now uh, what we will do is we will create a button okay to update the value okay button will be like it will say update and then we will write the on click event handler and then here we will write a function okay this is this will be a callback function or anything you can write so i just want that set account 
okay and then we want to update the count value as count plus one okay so we have written this functionality and as soon as we click on count it will increment the uh, value and we will also do one thing so we will just update our count value here so that we can see uh, what is our current count value how it is getting updated so count and now let's see on the front end so if you see i'll remove everything for now and the first time use effect is getting called because uh, our component is loading now as soon as i click on update use effect is getting called you noticed it and again whenever i'm clicking so if there is a change in the state value then use effects get called so this is the second thing that we got to know okay now we'll move on to the condition or the dependency part so in the syntax we have seen that this this was the first parameter and then there is something like comma and after that we write something okay so what is that second portion or second parameter that we have so the second parameter that we have are conditions okay so basically uh, let us cons uh, let us create one more state okay uh, it will be very clear to you so if i'll create one more state so i have created one more state the name of the state i'll change so data and set data okay so and i'll just uh, uh, just to be clear i'll just write something like the humble or uh, and then i just want that i'll create another button okay so on click and i just want that uh, after clicking that button the value of data should be changed to coder okay so this is our second uh, this is our second that uh, second state is doing so i'll also print it on a screen so that we can see so the first one was count and the second one is data and uh, here we are printing the data value and uh, yeah so uh, now everything is good so as soon as i'll also write here like update data and update count okay, okay i have saved this and as of now i have not written any condition okay first we will see whether this is working fine or not and then we will come back to the condition thing so now if you see i have two uh like i have two buttons and in the first uh, data we are printing the count value and the second one we are printing our data value so for example i'll clear everything now okay and in the first go only the component load is happening like the component is loading so use effect is getting called and now when i click on update count or uh, this is getting called again use effect is getting called every time now if you see when i click on update data again it is getting called and now it won't get called because i have just updated the state value once and once the state value is updated it is now no longer getting updated so again now every time use effect is not getting called okay so now basically we got two states in our code okay so what i'll do is now uh, first of all i want you know to explain the functionality we will also make this as a counter only so that it will be easy for us to understand because we want that it should change every time okay so i'll just make it as uh, data plus one okay so now we both have like both are the counter variables only just the name of the states are different so when i'm calling this state is getting updated when i'm calling this state is getting updated every time okay now what what if i just want that my use effects should get called when i update only the count value and when i update the data value the use effect should not get called okay so for that purpose we have that second optional thing like dependency thing so here what we can do is the as per the syntax we have seen that there should be this kind of brackets square brackets and in this whatever the state value that we write for example i just want my use effect to get called uh, whenever there is a change in count only okay and i don't want it to run when the data changes so now if you see okay so we have to like you know initialize them first and then only the use effect we can write so i'll just put it before this okay so now i'll clear everything and again first time on component load when i'm updating count it is getting called every time but now when you will see update data it is not getting called because you know in the dependency array we have not mentioned the second uh our second state so what if i mention second state also so again as uh like as expected both uh, when we update the value of both it will get called so when i'm updating this it is getting called when i'm updating this this is also getting called 
so in this way uh, the this is the major use of this dependency array okay now what if we don't want that uh, like in in our code basically there are 10 or 12 different states okay we don't want that use effect this use effect should get called uh, or based on any state so what i can do is i can just keep this as empty okay so if i keep this as empty which means that uh, i don't want my use effect to get called based on the update of any state uh, data so for example now if i am clicking on count value you you will not see state getting use state use effect getting called again and again so basically uh, if we have given an empty uh, dependency array then there is like use effect will only get called once when your component loads and uh, afterwards it will not get called any time okay now one last thing that is you know it is not compulsory that you should only have one use effect you can have multiple use effect based on your functionality or that you want to achieve for example i want that uh, I want that this first use effect should say data uh, like counter count called okay and the second one should say uh, data called okay and I want that the first use effect should get called when there, there is an update in the value of count state okay and I want that my second uh, use effect should get called whenever there is an update in data state value okay so now we have updated the code and now let me refresh it so now if you see initially on the component load both will call okay this is expected now when i'm clicking on count you will only see this count use effect is getting called okay the first one and when i'm cl clicking on the update data the second one is getting called so in this way you can achieve like different uh, like if you want that you know based on when when i update the value of this state or the value of when the value of this state first state is getting updated i only want to uh, implement a specific piece of code then you can do it in this way and on the updation of second state value you want some other code to implement so this is how you can achieve that so in this video basically i have covered all the cases related to use effect so if all these cases are clear to you then it will be very easy going forward to write complex code in use effect because in use effect these are the major like basic things that you should know okay first one is what is the basic syntax so we have already seen the basic syntax and in basic syntax what is the main importance of this dependency array and what are the different cases or conditions that we can apply using it so we have seen all we have tried giving it an empty array and then we have seen giving like uh, just one data value like one state value two states value based on the dependencies that we want to run so in this way like uh, this whole logic of use effect gets implemented so i hope now it will be very clear for you if you have any doubts please go on and tell me in the comment section and i will clear that out too now it is the most important part of our video where we discuss the interview question based on a topic so let's see the interview question for this uh, topic today so the question is explain the concept of cleanup functions in use effect hook the use effect hook in react not only use allows us to perform side effects but also gives us the ability to clean up after those effects okay the cleanup function is implemented by returning a function from the use effect callback this function is executed when the component is unmounted or when the dependencies change it provides an opportunity to clean up any resources created during the execution uh, effect okay so basically we know the syntax okay now the use effect syntax so in this if you want to implement a cleanup logic then you just have to write a return function and in that whatever the cleanup logic that you want to write you have to mention that so basically what happens is when we implement a use effect hook there are uh, like as mentioned here somewhere uh, there are many you know there are many things that gets executed okay and we want them to get cleaned up after this use effect is executed so for that reason we use this cleanup logic now as of now this is not important but in the subsequent videos whenever we encounter this scenario i will explain you the cleanup logic also but you just have to remember how to implement a cleanup logic if the interviewer asks in some like this kind of question where do you uh, implement a cleanup logic in use effect then you have to mention by by implementing a return function so I hope now it will be very clear for you and if you have any doubt as always please ask in the comment section and please also share your feedback what do you like about this video if there is any improvement that is needed and if you are new to the channel please make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any important notification. Thanks for watching the video and I will see you in the next video.